see you guys again and um, every week. Um, today, uh, we just want to welcome our first-time visitors. If you are here with us for the first time, we want to welcome you. Thank you for coming here. Um, and if you want to join uh, Champion Life Center in our community, um, there are three uh, great ways to join. One is for Life Group. Um, Life Group is the best way uh, to be part of Champion Life Center as you go into um, smaller groups, more intimate, more close, and you get to walk and grow spiritually together. Um, second way is uh, if you have kids, um, you can have them join our Champion Kids uh, as they do Sunday school every Sunday, uh, every Sunday. And if you have young people ages from 13 to 19, uh, you can let them to join youth and zeal, our, our youth group. Um, in fact, this Wednesday, um, zeal is going to have their back to school bash here at Ward and Full Gospel at the basement. Amen. So uh, we have games, we have giveaways, we have prizes, and we have a wonderful panel um, to share their life stories on how to balance uh, just life and school in general. So... Yeah, if you are ages 13 to 19, or if you know someone, you are invited. And uh, I hope to see you there. Amen. Uh, we have a couple more announcements. On Wednesday as well, we have our in-person Hour of Power here in the sanctuary. So I hope you guys are, are available for that, for that night as well. And on September 30th, we have, oh sorry, September 24th, <laughs> we have our 30th. Anniversary, our CLC uh, is going to be celebrating a 30th anniversary in Brampton. And we are actually, um, we have merch. We have our forever good merch that you can uh, purchase online. Um, and so if you're interested, uh, yeah, please support. Um, and if you want to follow more updates uh, within the community, please do so in our social media pages. Amen. Uh, well, now is our time for our giving, and we continue to thank, thank you guys for your support uh, as you give. Uh, you know, God loves a cheerful giver, and so this is not mandatory, although this is, you know, we are following God's principles and his commandments to give, and so God blesses those who obey his, his word. Amen? And so uh, there are many ways to give. You can text to give uh, e-transfer or use our mobile app. If you are here and you, are, you want to give by cash or check, uh, you can fill up the provided envelopes and drop it off in the guest services uh, area. Um, please visit our website at www.championlife.ca for more instructions. And make sure you select the campus that you are giving to. Amen. Uh, let's just pray for the resources that we're going to give to God. Amen. Lord, we thank you for everything that you have done for us. You are a good God, Lord. You are our provider, oh God. Without you, we are nothing, Father. We, are, we only live because you, Lord, your grace and your mercy abounds in our lives. I pray that you would bless uh, these resources. Use them, Lord, mightily for your kingdom, for, for your gospel, Lord. And I pray that your name will be glorified throughout uh, our city, our country, and throughout the whole world. We thank you and we love you. In Jesus' name, amen. amen. All right, thank you so much, uh, Jed, and uh, good afternoon, uh, everyone. Um, thank you for the announcement. Now, we have one more announcement, very important, and uh, it's really a milestone for us. So, uh, on September 18, that's just the week before the September 24th, which is still part of our celebration, we have our pastoral installation celebration. All right, so... Uh, pastor Paul will be the incoming Brampton Church pastor. So he's, uh, so, um, you know, you're, you're welcome to uh, witness that and be there because you're in afternoon service. So you can go there in the morning and be a part if you'd like uh, to. I know you have, he has many fans here, many supporters here. So uh, anyway, uh, it's been, it's been a journey. Over the last uh, eight years, we've been transitioning the church in Brampton for the next generation. And on, uh, and on uh, September, uh, on the 25th anniversary, we uh, actually talked about legacy. And, uh, you know, so in the next five years, uh, we were talking about uh, intentionally 
walking with our next generation leaders. And so we've been intentional over that in the last five years. And now recently uh, with the consultation of our leadership council and our uh, board approval, they have appointed Pastor Paul to be the pastor, incoming pastor of Brampton Church. All right. So uh, on the 18th, we will just be uh, installing him or for the official installation. Uh, so you're probably wondering, what am I going to be doing? Well, we'll always have something to do. We'll be looking after the uh, other churches like our Scarborough. Amen. We will be spending more time in our global network of churches. So uh, that uh, um, that really helps us that uh, for our Brampton Church, we'll have Pastor Paul looking after that. Uh, he has the DNA raised in the church and, and now is taking over. So we're so glad and we're proud of him. So let's welcome him. Um, in other news, we do have an exciting time, a special day today. Um, we, uh, we are selling a baby dedication. Yeah. Yeah. So we're having a baby dedication today. And it's a, it's a wonderful day in the life of Hannah and Justin and their little daughter who's here in the, oh, yeah, she knows. Amaya, who's, who's, who today, are the, the Anto family is deciding to dedicate her to the Lord. And today as a congregation, we have the ability to witness this. It's such a special day. But before we get into the ceremony, I just want to speak very quickly about what dedication is. If you're joining us today, you don't know what it is. I want to tell you that dedication goes back all the way to the Old Testament. We find that in the book of uh, 1 Samuel, a story of Hannah. There's a Hannah. Not this Hannah, but the Hannah in the Bible. But Hannah, what happens to Hannah is she comes to the temple every day. She's barren. She can't conceive. And, and she comes every day asking the Lord, give me, a, give me a child, give me a child. And one day the Lord answers. Opens up her womb and she gives birth to Samuel. And what a great time that is. What does Hannah do? She comes back to the temple and dedicates Samuel to the Lord. In the house of the Lord, she does this. It says in 1 Samuel 1, 27, 28, this is what Hannah says. I prayed for this child, and the Lord has granted me what I asked of him. So now I give him to the Lord. For his whole life, he will be given over to the Lord and worship. And then he worshiped the Lord there. So that was her response, dedicating her son back to God. And that's what we're doing today. And I want to just say that, you know, Amaya and Hannah and Justin, they're deciding to dedicate her to the Lord. It's important to know, though, before we get into the ceremony that, you know, dedication is not the same as baptism. You know, they're not the same thing. We believe they're two distinct events as shown in the Bible. And today we're not baptizing her. We're dedicating her. What does that mean? Well, baptizing is it's identifying with Christ through being immersed in water. You know, as you go down in the water, you, you identify with the death of Christ and you raise up from the water and you're alive with the resurrection of Christ. That is a decision that we make when we decide to follow Christ. It's a public testimony. And today, Amaya doesn't really know what's happening. Right? So she, well, hopefully one day she will decide to be baptized. But today, she doesn't know. That our prayer is that she will one day, but today we're dedicating her. The parents have decided to set her apart. It's like dedicating a song or dedicating a book. It's this holy consecration to give her to God, to say, God, do with her, with her what you please. So that's what we're doing today. This is the ultimate example that we see in the life of Jesus. He was dedicated at a young age and then also baptized later on in life. I want to encourage you parents today as you witness this, that dedicating your children is the best thing that you can do. Setting them aside for Christ and God is one of the best things you can do. That's what the Bible says. Train a child in the way they should go, and they won't depart from it. So it's our responsibility as a congregation and as this family to, to make sure that we steward our children well and teach them the ways of God. So today we are glad to celebrate Hannah and Justin, as they raise their children in a godly way. May this be an example to all of us of what it looks like to choose to serve God. So we're going to call them up to the stage. And we have, uh, so let's welcome them. 
Okay, let's do this. I'm just gonna get a microphone. Hey guys. What a beautiful family. Here, you can hold one of you can hold this. The baby might eat it, but that's okay. <laughs> oh, she likes karaoke. That's good. So uh, I'm going to just ask you a couple of questions. If you could, again, this is your decision to dedicate her to God. I'll ask you a couple of questions. If you could respond with, I do. Do you understand your responsibility in dedicating your daughter today? Do you cover before God and these witnesses that you will train Amaya according to the word of God so that when she grows old, she will not depart from it? I do. Do you cover before God and these witnesses that you will set an example and provide a godly home in which she may grow spiritually? I do. <laughs> do you cover before God and these witnesses that you will care for Amaya, cover her with your love and protection, and provide for all of her needs to the best of your ability? I do. Now, would you repeat after me as we dedicate... Your child. As parents of Amaya, we dedicate her to the Lord. To the best of our ability. And the help of God. We promise to love her. Care for her. And provide for all her needs. Spiritually, physically, and emotionally. Before God and these witnesses, we promise to raise her in a godly home. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Congratulations. I want to call. We're still, uh, we're, I want to call now the godparents. So I, I know there are two god two godparents. One, one parent. Well, whoever's here. There you go. Come on up. It's such a, it's so cool to have you guys. Okay. So uh, I'm going to ask you, Keisha. It's a very important question. <laughs> but I'm going to ask you if you can respond with, I do. So you here have the responsibility to help them raise her in a godly home. So to all the godparents, godparents, do you covenant before this congregation that you uphold their family and your prayers and encourage them with your support as they raise their daughter in the ways of the Lord? I do. Amen. All right. So thank you so much. Now as we close... As you've declared your intent, I'm going to pray for her. Is that okay if I... Okay. I hope you can smell my, my child on me. So, you... Okay, let's pray. Oh, she's okay. Are you ready? Let's, pray. let's extend our hands and let's dedicate her. Father, we just thank you for this child of God. Today, God, we just dedicate her to you. We pray that your favor be upon her. We pray, oh God, that you continue to watch over her and protect her. We pray, oh God, Lord Jesus, that she'll continue to taste and see your goodness. We pray, God, Lord, for doors of opportunity. We pray that she would grow to know you and love you. And today, oh God, we pray for this family that they, Lord, would continue to just walk together in unity. May your love surround them and protect them. May you be in their coming in and going out. And God, Lord Jesus, may you just continue to be their portion and strength. We bless her and we dedicate her to you. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 Congratulations. So, yeah, let's just welcome and congratulate them. So I'm gonna, we're going to close today. So if you, all of you stand and you guys can come down here and take pictures after. But let's stand today as we uh, receive the blessing of God. Let's raise our hands to the heaven. May the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord shine his face upon you and be gracious to you. May the Lord lift up his countenance on you and give you his peace. May he cause you to walk under an open heaven. May open doors of opportunity for you that you can enter in and be victorious for God. May he continue to fill you with his love, grace, peace, and the power of his spirit throughout this week until he comes. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, amen, amen. God bless you. If you need prayer today, you can come.